create a bit of a problem when you start gathering a lot of data. <laughs> right. You get you you ask people to report and to share their ideas, but then you don't quite realise the problem you're creating for yourself because mm. you just create volumes of it. Yeah. And some of it is noise. Some of it, in fact, a lot of it is noise. Mm. It's stuff mm. that could be dealt with directly. So we have to introduce some methodology to be able to filter out what is really important, what could be life changing or life mm. life ending or what is particularly critical for that individual um, versus something that they can fix directly. So the focus then moves from getting the quantity to move on to getting good quality data and things we can action. And I think that we found at Lloyd's that that runs through not just the incidents, the near-missed reports, the engagements, Mm -hmm. the observations, but equally through to the corrective action. This idea about less is more. We focus much more on the corrective action that's really critical versus necessarily mm. the high volume of it. It's, it's, it's really mm. trying to narrow in on that we mm. find critical. That's what we try to do as well, but I think it's also important to manage the expectations. Mm. So what we discussed earlier, if you ask people to come yes. with uh, near misses, uh, they expect feedback. Yes. They expect, okay, did you receive it? Thank you very much, and we are going to solve it in the next uh, five days. And that's not doable, no. at least not in our case. No. Uh, I think yeah. it's important yeah. to manage the expectations and set clearly what they can expect. And that mm. you need this broad base of data and then information, and then mm. you can set the priorities. I mean, what we've done is it was actually astonishing. We had two fatalities last year in ABB. And those two cases, when you look at the data reported, we found that today's uh, sites, they didn't, re- they didn't report the contractor hours, which is a you know yeah. basic requirement. Mm. There were no hazards reported. There were no minor incidents reported. Mm. So it actually was one of the findings was that you know by pure reporting uh, regime or, or 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 discipline, you are already managing your safety. So your example is so powerful mm. in actually saying who's not talking to us yeah. and and who are we not actually having a conversation with yeah. and learning. Yeah. Because it's 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 yeah. it tells us as much as who is telling us exactly. and speaking to yeah. us. Yeah. Yeah. Good point. And also, be prepared for what that data is going to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> because sometimes you can have this idea of where incidents are happening in your business. When you start to get the data coming in, your whole safety program looks like it's going the wrong direction. Yes. Because actually, your data is right. telling you yeah. your problems over here, yeah. and you've structured your safety pro- program to go this way. Yeah. One of the things our data started to tell us was was the significant impact contractors were having. That we thought, with hundreds of thousands of employees, actually it would be all about the employees. Mm. When we started to measure contractor involvement Mm -hmm. with incidents, we were really surprised at, firstly, how many contractors we had, (laughs) and secondly, that they were involved in incidents. And our safety programme was very employee-focused, and actually over recent years we've very much opened it out to definitely involve contractors. Yeah. We've tried to engage a lot of our sites to uh, safety observations as well. Yeah. Um, and we try to say some sites actually do positive yeah. safety yeah. observations because yeah. 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 otherwise you're just talking negative yeah. all the time. We say we want to hear about the positive observations as well mm. because when you have them on a check- checklist and someone's yeah. going for an audit, it's still hidden away. If we don't give everyone a platform to say what they've seen positive, yeah then we also create the culture for them to say, oh, let's just talk about negative things. Yes. And that's when yeah. they say, yeah. I better not report that because I don't want to show yeah. something yeah. that's yeah. not so yes. good. I think there's something really interesting in this idea about the observations. Because if we think where we do most of our learning in safety, it, it's unfortunately bad outcomes. Yeah. But it goes right so many more times. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we don't, I don't think, put enough on learning from success. We're probably one of the only professions that is measuring, you know, the what we're doing by the wrong metric. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, we're, tra- we're called safety, and actually we're measuring accidents. Yeah. And we wouldn't have sales measuring their performance by the number of bids that they lost. <laughs> That's right. Um, and yet we have that in safety. And so the idea that we actually focus on observations and we yeah. share that best practice, yeah. I think is really powerful. Mm-hmm.